Hello and welcome to another YouTube video. Um, as you can see, I am back to cell phone shaky cam, but uh, that's because this is just a small video where I replaced the hard drive in my Sun Ultra 5 with a larger model. And basically, the reason why I want to do this is because I want to install OpenBSD on um, my Ultra 5. But I'd also rather not erase the Solaris disk label that's on the hard drive that is in the machine. Also, I can use a 40 gigabyte drive, so I figure why not. So, um, <coughs> yeah, the, um, the install disk just finished burning. Um, I am going to swap out the hard drive and then I'll be back. So the new drive is installed. Um, I just have it sitting right here, so just in case it doesn't work for whatever reason, I don't need to take the entire machine apart again. But so anyway, I have Putty open. Let's see. The hard drive spins up, so that's a good sign. And I am Yeah, I'll need to uh There we go. Let's see. It's actually been a while since I've been able to do this because I haven't had much time to work on this as of late, but, um, 8020. One, three, I think. D, A, B, C, Control. Ah, nope. D, control R. There we go. So now let me CD in. go. So it's booting OpenBSD, the installer now. Um, so I'm actually going to switch to screen recording and then we can continue on from there. Okay, so here we are at the OpenBSD installation prompt. Um, and I actually have the installation guide opened up on my netbook. I shouldn't need it, but I have it because this is the first time I've installed it on my son. And I just want to make sure everything goes smoothly. So yeah, let's hit I for install. Terminal type. Um, yeah, let's just say sun because that's the default. System host name. I don't currently have this connected to a network. That may be an issue, but um, if it is, then I'll just go back and configure the internet, the network later.
Okay, so yeah, I... Let's see, none. <clears throat> Done. I'll probably get the network configured off camera because network configuration is a pain. Um. <laughs> Yes, I want to do that. Yes, I expect to. Let's see. Reading the installation guide on this. I think so. Because the thing is, um, I do plan to eventually run this with a, um, I do eventually plan to run this, uh, with a graphical interface on the system itself once I get a keyboard and mouse. For now, I will be using uh, software. should never need to do that. Yep. Maybe do zero. Auto layout. Let's see if I can just like scrub the layout. Let's see. See if I can auto partition now. Uh, let's see. <coughs> Let's try deleting all partitions. 
There we go. So that indicates a change. Quit and save changes. Yes. There we go. Okay. So the way um so this all makes sense. The way um uh, OpenBSD formats their this stuff is sort of weird. Um it's like very like traditional Unix in a sense. Um C the C partition is the entire disk. And then everything around it is like are the various partitions. So I will set use the auto layout. I really hope that uh, I don't need to download the file sets or also probably need to restart the the entire installation. Let's see. Uh, what's happening? Other configuration, yeah. Uh, okay, this time I'm gonna try HTTP. Oh, let's see. Okay, let's see how long this runs. I should know better than to fill up the, um, uh, there we go. I'll just do. There we go. Let's see. Okay, so it's already selected all of them, so I will hit done. I'll hit done. Uh, yes, I wanted to set the time to correct. Let me uh, grab my netbook again, because I think there are some uh, posts. Installation things that I need to do. Let's try a reboot. Now I can try boot disk. 
And there we go. It is um, booting BSD from the uh, hard disk. So here we are at the login prompt. Probably the only time I'll actually be um, uh, logging in as root. But let's see. So I've actually never been able to um, send a dmessage output because um, I um, because I never configure my mail system. <laughs> but um, that is something you can do. So. There's the uname output, and then I think package add is there are like a few different, uh, very similarly named um, uh, like uh package programs, package managers. <laughs> but uh, yeah, package add is um, OpenBSDs. That is not to be confused with package add, which is Solaris's package manager. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Now we can run NeoFetch. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's about it for this video. Um, I'm not sure how exactly short it is, but it was basically just me swapping the hard drive and installing OpenBSD. I hope to stream with this computer soon because this um uh, I do have a ton of fun things that I would like to do with this um you know just as a fun like relaxed stream. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you have a great day and yeah.